All right, back by popular demand, we are back on Battlefield 4, a game with functional mouse input, VoIP, all chat, 15,000 maps, some of which, well, actually the majority of which are absolutely terrible, but we won't talk about that. Uh, at least there have DLC, at least they have assignments, at least there is a server browser that actually people actually use. There's more than 19 primary weapons, and in general, I just find the game to be just a, a tier above Battlefield 2042, maybe two or three tiers. Uh, as always, if you like the video, hit the like button, really does help the channel out. If you want to see more Battlefield content, really do hit that like button to let me know you guys want to see more. I will be playing this game a lot, but not out of, like, me wanting to. It's just, like, I have to tide myself over with something uh, between now and Battlefield 2042 getting new content. I am still really, like, burned out of all the old Battlefield games. I'm a real, like, play the newest Battlefield game and then move on to the next newest Battlefield game type person. I rarely go back and play the older ones. Uh, and if I do, it's, like, out of necessity. But I am trying to have a lot of fun with Battlefield 4, as much fun as I can. The servers are a little brutal, and streaming the game is an absolute fucking nightmare with the fact that people can DDoS the server you're playing on, people stream snipe relentlessly. It's just cringe, and Battlefield 4's community is kind of like a massive piece of shit. And that is largely the reason why nobody can really stream the game unless you're part of, like, the circle of people that are allowed to stream the game, I guess. But Battlefield 4, especially going back to it after playing 2042 for a while, you're really just taken immediately by like, wow, this game really does have a ton of stuff that 2042 does not have. We're talking basic things. I mentioned a few at the beginning of the video, but some of the things that I might not have mentioned. You have the ability to actually choose what specific squad you want to join. In Battlefield 2042, the UI is so bad that you open the squad menu and it just says, like, change squad. You're not actually allowed to, to choose what specific squad you want to join. Battlefield 4, you can do that, no problem. Uh, what else does Battlefield 4 have? Oh, uh, the options menu in Battlefield 4 is, like, light years ahead of 2042s. The UI in general in Battlefield 4 is light years ahead of it. It's unbelievable how much better it is for how old of a game Battlefield 4 is. Like, I actually had to sit there and try to remember what all these settings actually do because I was scrolling through all these options like, okay, my God, like opacity this, opacity that, ADS opacity, minimap resizing. That's another thing 2042 doesn't have. Um, ADS opacity scaling for icons, like every icon in the game as well. Teammate icons, revive icons, fucking flag icons. When you name it, the opacity slider is there in Battlefield 4. Um, there's just so much stuff that is missing from Battlefield 2042. That should absolutely be there with no exception. So, yeah, I mean, I'll have further thoughts on the uh, comparison. I might actually do a direct comparison video between BF4 and Battlefield 2042. A little in-depth video type deal. I think that would be pretty fun. So, comment down below, would you like to see something like that? And I'm just going to continue to play this game, continue to gather clips, continue to stream it. And if you've never actually come to my stream before, now is a really good time to, since we're going to play Battlefield 4. Link is in the description. Go drop twitch.tv slash enders, a follow, stream every single day. I'm live between like 1.30 p.m. EST and 3.30 p.m. EST. Uh, join the Discord or follow me on Twitter, at EndersFPS, to know exactly when I go live all the time. Those notifications never lie. So if you're excited to see more Battlefield 4 content, hit the subscribe button. Going to be posting more stuff for sure. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope you guys are excited for what's to come.